Hi, my name is Fiona Lee Jones, and in this video, I will be talking about the Circle of Fifths. So the Circle of Fifths is a visual diagram. Looks like this. And basically, it will help you know all the different scales that are available. And for this video, I'll mainly be talking about the major keys. So we're going to map out all the major keys that are in the Circle of Fifths. All right, let's get started. There's 12 notes on the piano, but if we include the enharmonic notes, there are a total of 15 scales featured on the circle of fifths. It's good to know this because not every piece you play will be in C major. As a kid, I used to think, wouldn't it be great if all pieces were written in C major and that way I wouldn't have to learn any of my sharps or flat keys. Just different keys have different characteristics. Some people think C major sounds very happy, very uplifting. Some people think D minor is the saddest key. Some people think A flat is a very confident, robust key key. Not all pieces are written C major, so we actually have to learn our scales, and through the circle of fifths we can learn all our major and minor scales. For this video, I'm just going to go over the major keys. So the major scale pattern is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. C major is the key that has zero sharps and zero flats in its scale. And we're gonna do, we're gonna actually work clockwise first. We're actually gonna figure out all the sharp keys. So if we go up a perfect fifth from C, and you can go up five steps in the C major scale, one, two, three, four, five, we get to G. G major is the key that has one sharp in its key signature, or one sharp in its scale. So here's the G major scale. Okay, so how do we know which note is sharps? Well, there's an order of sharps, okay? So the order of sharps is the following. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Okay, how are you supposed to remember that? Fat cats go down alleys eating bacon. So key of G major has one sharp, we're going to go in this order. The first sharp will be F sharp. In the next key, it's going to be F sharp and C sharp. In the next scale with three sharps, it will be F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So it just keeps kind of adding an extra sharp each time. So if we go up a fifth from G major, one, two, three, four, five. A perfect fifth also sounds like twinkle, twinkle. So we go up a perfect fifth in G major, we get to the key of D major. And D major has two sharps in its key signature, F sharp and C sharp. So here we go with our D major scale. F sharp and our C sharp right there. Okay, so we're gonna go from D major, we're gonna go find the next scale that has three sharps. So we have to do the same pattern. Go up a fifth, up a perfect fifth from D major. One, two, three, four, five. Notice I'm going up five steps in the D major scale. I get two A. So A major has three sharps in its key signature. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So here's our A major scale. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Fat cats go. We're gonna go up a fifth from A major. One, two, three, four, five. We get to the key of E. So E major has four sharps in its key signature. Fat cats go down. So it's gonna be F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. So here's our E major scale. Fat cats go down. So we have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. All right, so we're gonna go up a fifth from E. We get to the key of B. So B has five sharps. And those five sharps that are in the scale are F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. So here's our B major scale. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. Those are five sharps. Okay, now we're gonna go to the scale that has six sharps. So we have to do the same pattern. Up, five, up a fifth from B major. One, two, three, four, five. Um, or do, re, mi, fa, so, we get to F sharp. So F sharp, I'm gonna play it down here, has six sharps in its 
scale. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp. F sharp major has six sharps in it. And those sharps are F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp. So there's actually, since we have seven notes in our scale, we can sharp up to seven notes. The scale that has seven sharps is going to be C sharp. So if we start from F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, we land on C sharp. C sharp has all seven notes sharped. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp. And then we return back to our C sharp. So C sharp, I'm gonna write it in here, has seven sharps. And those notes that are sharp are fat cats go down, Allie's eating bacon. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, B sharp. So as you add more sharps, um, it can get trickier because you have to make sure those notes are sharpened. So now the pattern to find all the scales with all the flats is a little bit different. There's actually two ways to do it. So with sharps, we were going up a fifth. With flats, we can actually go down a fifth. C, down a fifth is F. But actually an easier way to get there is if we go up a fourth. So here's our C, we can go down a fifth or we can go up a fourth. And I actually think when I teach this to my students, I use up a perfect fourth because it's easier. Here comes the bride. And you also get to recognize the perfect fourth interval and what it sounds like. So if we go up a perfect fourth from C, one, two, three, four, we get to the key of F major. F major starts and ends on F, and we have one flat, a B flat. Okay, so our flat keys, F major has one flat. And what is the order of flats? It is easy. It's actually the opposite of the order of sharps. So B, E, A, D, G, C, F. So bead. B-E-A-D, and then G-C-F, go catch fish. That's how I remember it. Or you can just remember that it's the opposite of the order of sharps. Okay, so let's continue on. So if we go up a fourth, up a perfect fourth from F. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna land on B flat. So B flat major is the key that has two flats in its key signature. B flat and E flat. So here's the scale. B flat major scale. Okay, now if we go up a perfect fourth in B flat major, one, two, three, four, we get to E flat major. So E flat major has three flats in its scale. B flat, E flat, and A flat. So here's our full E flat major scale. So now if we go up a fourth, up a perfect fourth from E flat, one, two, three, four, we land on A flat. So A flat major has four flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. So it's the same as here, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Okay, and remember flats, uh, scales with flats, scales with sharps, same pattern. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. This is for all the major scales. Okay, let's go up a fourth from A flat. One, two, three, four, we get two. D flat, which is the scale that has five flats. And notice it's actually, it's the enharmonic, meaning it has the same notes, but they're going to be spelled differently than C sharp major. So D flat and C sharp, these scales are called enharmonics, meaning they're the same notes on the piano, but they're gonna be spelled differently. So D flat major has five flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Okay, but this is also could be seen as C sharp major. It just depends on the context and how it's notated. And we're gonna go up a fourth from D flat major. We're gonna land on G flat. So G flat has six flats. And you'll notice they both, G flat and F sharp are also in harmonic keys. Um, Here's our G flat major scale. Same notes as F sharp major, except for it's just going to be notated differently. G flat will be notated with flats. F sharp will be notated in sharps. So our flats for G flat major, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. So 
where there's our G flat major. So if we were notating this in sharps, it would be F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B. Finally, we're gonna go up a fourth from G flat because remember, we can flat up to seven notes in our scale. So from G flat, I'm gonna go up a fourth and we land on C flat. So C flat is a scale that has seven flats in its key signature. So that means every single note is flat here. So we have C flat, D flat, E flat, F flat, G flat, a flat, B flat, and then we land back on C flat. Okay, so every note is flat. Notice this is the end harmonic of B major. So depending on how it's notated, it's going to be either written in sharps or flats. So there you go. There's your circle of fifths. I recommend trying to write this out, try to draw it out, um, and get familiar with how it's laid out. With the sharps, we're going up in fifth, starting from C. And with flats, we're gonna be going up in perfect fourths, or you can think of it going down in fifths. Um, the order of sharps, fat cats go down, alleys eating bacon. Order of flats, B, E, A, D, G, C, F. Another way to see the order of sharps is to start from here. Fat cats go down, alleys eating bacon. And then the order of flats, starting from here and going backwards or going counterclockwise, B, E, A, D, G, C, F. Um, total of 15 keys total if you count the enharmonic ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So those are all the major keys that are available. So there you go, there's your circle of fifths. My name is Fiona Lee Jones and thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one.